This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Let there be light. Yes. Oh, good morning, everybody. How are we doing? We are about to head to work. The time is currently... Hang on. Stop. <laughs> time is currently 4.47 in the morning. We woke up about quarter past four. Done what we need to do. And uh, now we're in the car, ready to go to work. Got a interesting day plan today. We've got a, well, we're already loaded. I'll show you in a second when we get to the yard. We're already loaded. Um, that's got to go to uh, sort of Essex area, which is about three hours away. So we're aiming to leave the yard for about quarter past five, give or take. And then we'll be there about eight o'clock just after. And that's the plan. Uh, we're fully loaded with bolt bags. I'll show you when we get to the yard. And, um, and then from there, we've got to go and pick up some mooring weights, which I think are like weights for boats, I think. But it must be, because we're going to a harbour. So we've got, well, we've got to go to a dock first to pick them up um, in, I think it was Harwich, I think. And then it's going down south, uh, some island. I can't remember what island. I, I'll go through it later with you when I know exactly what we're doing. But for now, let's uh, let's get going. We've got to be in the yard. We don't live too far away from the yard. We'll be there in... In very short amount of time. Okay, so I suspect at this time in the morning there will be no one there, so the gates will probably be shut. So we're gonna have to open them up. Gates are shut, so let's go and give them a cheeky open. Right. So the gate unlocked so we can go park up now. Happy days. And brake on, engine off. And lock the car. Lovely, thank you. All right, so we're just walking to the truck now. On the subject of cars, my other Type R, which has been in the garage since January, um, I spoke to them yesterday and uh, the part is coming in Tuesday after Easter bank holiday weekend. So, that's for the cylinder block, I think it was. So he said, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are purely days to uh, to get my car fixed. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. Fingers crossed Saturday, I can pick it up. That's the aim. And uh, it'll be serviced in the motel as well. So 12 bumps on it, on, on all of that. And then I can sell it, that's the aim. Anyway, it's gonna get dark. Let's go get our truck. There we go, it's going dark now. <laughs> and uh, this is what I can see. I've left my torch in the truck this morning, so. Yes. Okay, there she is. Let's get her turned on, lights on, start doing some checks. And then we can get going. Let's turn some lights on, lovely. Turn the ignition on. Engine on, 
card in, lights on, hazards on, just build up some air. That'll stop in a second when the uh, when the air builds up. Build the revs up a little bit. Ugh. Right, let's let the air build up. That will stop. In the meantime, we can do some checks. I've got my torch now. So, we're loaded with bolt bags. It's all netted up, strapped up. We've got 40 bags on, uh, purely topsoil, all the way down the back. Let's go and have a look. We can check the tyres on the way down, make sure they're all okay, make sure the lights are on. The trailer is connected properly. Kingpin is engaged, I'm just checking now. Lovely, and uh, yeah, we're strapped up every other bag. The net will hold the middle bag in. Cool. We're all okay. Let's go check around the back. Number plate is on. Number plate light is on. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. We're all strapped up on the back as well. Tyres are inflated. Uh, yeah, just make sure that's secure. All looking good. Like I said, I, I strapped all this up yesterday, last night. Well, I say last night, I actually got back to the yard yesterday uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon. And then I got this loaded, strapped it all up, and I left about three o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, it was quite an early finish yesterday. Um, I had the option to run down and uh, get closer to my delivery spot, but uh, wife wanted me home, so. Have to go home if the wife says, don't you? <laughs> Right, that noise you just heard, I don't know if you picked it up, is the noise of the air going into the trailer, which means now the alarm on the inside should be off because we should have enough air. We're just going to test the trailer brake. And what we do is we pull this red lever. Okay, trailer brake engages, so that's all good. Lights are on this end. Excellent. All we've got to do now is just check the physical truck itself. All the Susie's connected. Fuel cap is on. Just check the ablu cap as well. Yeah, that's on. Tires inflated. Just check all the front lights now from the front end of the truck. Lights are on, top lights are on. Happy days. Right, let's jump back in the truck. All the alarms should be off now. Lovely. Ugh. There we go, and arms are off. We're just building up the final amount of uh, of air pressure, so we give it another five minutes to warm up. Let's turn that on to night mode. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, destination. We are going to uh, Canvey Island, um, Benfleet, Essex. So that is where we're going, SS7 5UN. Port and Satnav will be there in three hours, dead on. Gonna go down the M4, around the M25, up to Basildon, and then at the moment it's saying that this way is potentially quicker. We don't need to select it just yet. We're waiting till we get a bit closer, then we'll see which road is actually closer. And then from there, we're sort of going, I think, up to here. There's a dock up here somewhere. I think, around this area. Harwich? Yeah, Harwich. So we're going up to Harwich. There's, there's a dock here. Then from Harwich, we're going to go somewhere down here, I believe. There was an island. Hailing Island? I think it was Hailing Island. Somewhere down there. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing later on today with some more weights. Should be interesting. I've been specifically requested to vlog. It's so, like, you know you work for a great company and you know they support you when they request your vlog. So thank you, boss. <laughs> um, I think we're doing this job for a mate of his, so uh, extra publicity and all that. Anyway, um, checks are done. We're going to do some paperwork now. It's boring a bit, so I'm not going to say that. And then, we can turn the hazards off now, actually. It's a bit annoying. Do some quick paperwork, uh, you know, daily checkbook and all that. And then, uh, and then we'll crack on and then I'll probably see you when we're there, so about eight o'clock, so it should be light out. Right, it is now uh, five to eight. Just arrived, we'll just take in the straps off. 
Once we take the straps off, we can then take the net off. Uh, a little bit tight getting in. Not well, yeah, not that tight, but you wouldn't want to be waiting out on the road anyway, but that way. Not enough room on the road. Right, all the straps are off. The net is mostly off. But sometimes it needs a bit of convincing. And uh, right at the front, it's stuck. As we're about to see. There we go. Stuck round here. Uh, should be able to work that loose now from the other side. Right, net's free. Just got to roll it up now. So let's crack on with that. Right, got the straps off, we've got the net off. We've got two fault lifters taking all the product off as well, which means things are actually done, being done a little bit quicker than like planned, which means I can get less footage. <laughs> uh, borrowed the broom, basically what I'm doing is using the broom to uh, open the ears up on the bed, on the, uh, on the bags, so it's easier for them to get in them. I do that, use this broom and just uh, pull open the bag so they can get the forks in quite easy. Otherwise they're all squashed, otherwise. Happy days. Okay, so I'm hoping this works. Uh, you should be able to hear me and you should be able to see the map. Uh, basically, we've got to go to Trinity House, which is listed as this building here. But uh, doing a little bit of research, I think it's this entrance we need. If we look at Street View, uh, it says here that Trinity House stores goods inward. So I reckon we've got to go in there to get loaded with, uh, with what we need to get. And to get there from where we are now is about an hour and 15 minutes in a truck. You always add 15 minutes to every hour. So that's where we're going to go from here. We are Hailing Island. I've been and received an email to say, with, an, with quite good instructions actually, to go to this turning circle here, spin round, and then reverse back down to this entrance. Um, so that is what we've got to do. Whether these cars or not are going to be there, if they're there, then it might be difficult to turn around. Um, I might have to drive in and then sort of reverse round this bend and get out. But I don't know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Or might even, might be easier to go to the second turn and turn left into here and then reverse out. We'll see. We, either way, we, we'll be able to turn around. Um, if not, then, well, yeah, it's a long reverse otherwise. <laughs> but we should be good. We should be good. Okay, so still being unloaded. We have not been here that long. We've got here eight o'clock. So yeah, 26 minutes past eight. Uh, 10, no, sorry, there's only 8 there, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus the other side, minus 1, so uh, we've got 27, yeah, <laughs> 27 bags left out of the 40, so we're not quite halfway yet, so we're probably going to be here another half an hour or so, but uh, it is what it is, um, pretty nice houses with balconies, it is a shame that it's, it's overlooking a building, construction yard thing building builder's yard yeah that's the word i'm looking for builder's yard <laughs> oh well so i just had it confirmed from the boss himself that that's trinity house small yard that i was looking at is in fact uh the one that we are collecting from and that they are expecting me so happy days it's 20 to 9 now we're probably gonna be here until nine o'clock so i reckon we'll be there like say half 10 yeah i'm not entirely sure how long it takes to get to the delivery address from their mind I haven't even looked but I'm going to assume three hours something like that so maybe two o'clock something like that I don't know including a break the guys we're delivering to have asked for an ETA so when I know what time I'm going to be there then I'll uh, obviously let them know we're delivering there that's where we're delivering give or take yeah so that is three hours and 17 minutes uh for every hour you add 15 minutes so you want to add 45 onto that at least so yeah it's a good four hours away a good four hours away okay only four more bags left to go and then we should be done not long left now okay to get out of here it looks like we've got a reverse uh down there so i'll have to reverse back get a slightly better angle reverse down there and then drive out that way that looks like the way we'll be getting out three more bags left to go okay fully tipped just got to get our paperwork and then we can reverse out 
I've also found out that what we're loading later is it's only it's only like half a load, not even that. It's two plates, two uh, uh, boat weights or something. Uh, they only weigh three ton each, so I I imagine probably whack them in the middle or something. Both of them on the middle. It's not going to be a big load at all. So only six ton is what our collection is going to be. That's nothing. Okay, before we go, we're just going to put in our destination to the sat nav. That's where we want to go. Calculate the four different routes. Sorry, three different routes. And we go the first route. Yeah, that looks like the quickest. So we calculate two routes for this one. We should be there just after 10 o'clock. So let's get going. I just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. It, we're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HGV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, so here we are parked up on the road deliveries we've uh, just gone in and spoke to someone who's gonna go get the yard man um, so uh, yeah it's locked up at the moment so we're going there and get loaded in there better put my high-vis vest on because I've not got it on yet he uh, he did know what I was collecting as well so it's all good let's go wait in the truck now wait for him to call me in and then we're going uh, go and get it loaded Whilst we're waiting to go in, we can put the uh, delivery address in. I've already put it in as a recent destination, so Hailing, Hailing Island, that's the one. Drive, it'll come up with a few different routes. It might take slightly less than four hours to get there. Because we're probably, yeah, we'll probably go this way rather than that way around, uh, around London. So yeah, less miles. That's 178, that's 166. Obviously that's way too many miles. So yeah, we'll do that one. And uh, we know it includes a toll roll. It's gonna to be Dartford Crossing. And the time, it's gonna take us three and a half. It's not too bad, three and a half hours. It's less than I thought it was gonna be. Mind you, actually originally I said three hours and I then worked out to be four. Cool. Uh, we've, only got, we've only got two lifts going on, so we shouldn't be in that long. So hopefully we'll be there for like three o'clock by the time we get a break in as well. So you know the sea barrows that you you see in the sea bobbing bobbing around? They're pretty massive. Look. Look how big they are. Obviously they look tiny in the sea but in reality they are massive. Look how big these are. Look at them. Honestly, like my head goes to there. <laughs> they are bloody massive. Nice. I mean, the technology on this, you know, solar panels, all the electric gobbins, gobbins, gibbins on the top there. It's got like antennas and whatnot. What a piece of kit. So I have been told what we're loading with is on pallets. So, uh, and I've been told also that we're only loading two, so from my boss, uh, just two weights. So I assume it's just two pallets. It's not, it's not a big load at all, but uh, we'll see when they put it on. But yeah, these, these things are a lot bigger than you realize they are. They're like, they're bigger than the truck. <laughs> right, we're just having a, a debate on, uh, on how to load it, because, the thing itself is slightly wider than the pallet, so we can't really have two side by side because they're going to overhang the trailer. The issue is, it's not exactly straight either. If we put them one behind the other, the forks, when we deliver, might not be able to take them off, but it's a risk we're going to take. So they are going to be pretty much in the center of the trailer, uh, give or take. So, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Just waiting for the other one to go on and then we can strap up.
lovely. Okay, here we are. That's what we got on. So we've got two of them and uh, we're pulling in different directions on both the front and back to uh, ensure they don't go anywhere. And that's it. That's literally all we got on the trailer, just those two. So I put them in the middle of the trailer for weight distribution as well. Happy days. Right, they are massive. <laughs> Look how tall they are. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can quite see, but for comparison, there's the truck, same height. <laughs> They're bigger than the truck. Right, we are off. We are loaded with two pallets and they weigh six tons each. So only use two straps as I mentioned. And it's a three and a half hour drive down now to where we need to go. So we most likely will need to stop for a break on the way down. Uh, there is a small chance we can get down there in one go without requiring a break. Uh, that by the way was the noise for crossing a line. <laughs> There's a white line on the left. Um, so yeah, we could get there in one go without a break, but then we would require a break as soon as we are there. So um, it's probably a safer bet if we get most of the way and then have a break. So we've reset our time and then uh, we can tip and then we, once we tip, we can just crack on into wherever, wherever we've got to go next. And I'm not sure where we're going. We probably will be on a night out tonight. I would have thought so. Uh, I mean, we've done four hours driving already. We're three and a half hours away, so yeah, that's seven and a half hours driving, which means we can only do one and a half on a nine hour drive, uh, or two and a half on a 10. So I don't think that's enough time to get back to the yard anyway. So most likely a night out, but we will see later. We will see later. Anyway, let's crack on. Like I said, three and a half hours drive. I will see you when uh, we stop for a break. See you in a bit. Okay, uh, we pulled over to have a 30 minute break. We are actually only 30 minutes away from our destination where we need to be, um, 30 minutes, and we've got annoyingly 21 or only 21 minutes left of driving time remaining, which means we are only nine minutes short of time. Um, unfortunately, we got caught in a little bit of traffic, uh, which meant that um, we lost those nine minutes. Plus I needed to get fuel as well. Um, so yeah, normally we make up time on the way down. So I was hoping to to be able to get there, get the delivery and have a break there. But um, yeah, it's not going to be the case. We're going to be nine minutes short. I can't make up nine minutes in, in 30 minutes. <laughs> so um, yeah, no, we are having a break. Uh, we've had one minute now already. Uh, so another 29 more minutes and then we can uh, get going, basically. Okay, break is over. We've had a 30 minute break, meaning we've had 45 in total. At four hours and ten, we'll uh, reset now as soon as we move. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna crack on now. And um, like I said earlier, we're only thirty minutes away. So, let's go. Right, we are here with the with the hey look at me and flashing lights on that. <laughs> the hey look at me and everyone get out of my way. It's quite quiet down here, but uh, yeah, we're just taking the straps off and uh, they're coming up behind. So the two that are coming off, happy days. Got a, a boat over there, look. Go in for it. Yeah, look, beautiful weather down here, Portsmouth. Right next to the sea. Happy days, I'm on holiday. Shout out to the ferry boat while we're here, look. So this is one of the reasons why I like using my phone because Unlike with a GoPro, you've got like massive a zoom as well. Uh, I mean, quality wise, my phone records just as good as the uh, the GoPros, but like, check out the zoom. Look how far I can zoom in there on that boat. Do you know what I mean? Hello. <laughs> anyway, I think I'd do 10 knots on this river, lake, uh, sea, whatever you want to call it. I don't know.
So uh, as I did predict earlier, because they're in the middle of the trailer, it's slightly difficult to get them off. So it's just a case of trying to pull it back a little bit, scrape it back on the floor, and then eventually get under it and lift it up. But uh, yeah, no, I did predict this this morning. <laughs> but the problem is there were two, the two wides up side by side, so that was the only plausible way of having it. Uh, but never mind, we'll, uh, it will come off. We've got one off already, so this one will come off in a sec. Right, we are fully unloaded now. Truck is there. We're at the end of a dead end road, so there's no problem with it being there. Plus, vehicles can get past me anyway, so before I go take a look, take a look at the uh, the sea. I guess it's a sea. I don't know. Oh look, it's a beach. Pebbles. Sand. I was going to go and take a picture of me on the beach and. Send it to my wife. <laughs> just gonna send this. Send this to my wife. Hey babe, don't mind me. Uh, just on the beach, look, chilling out. Lovely weather. Go for a stroll up in the uh, in the water. Oh, why are you gonna wash the boots? <laughs> there we go. I think it's quite windy, so I'm not gonna do too many outside shots. Bit of a heap of uh, of stones there. That that's pretty pretty steep stones. Anyway, I'm not going to mess around too much uh, because it is half past three and uh, straight back to the yard from here. So we're tr we're trying to make it back on a ten hour drive. I think it's two and a half hours. We'll find out in a sec. That would put it to five o'clock. No, that put it to six o'clock. If we learn to count. Um, but that's if I can make it back on, on two and a half hours. Because I've definitely only got two and a half hours drive time left. Yeah. Bye beach. Let's go, uh, let's go back to the truck. There we go. Just walking up the ramp. Look. That's where we were. Nice guys. Let's go. Right, see you later guys. Right, let's jump in the truck. Right, back to work, back to the yard. Meanwhile, let's have a look at our driving time. <sighs> Tachograph busy, that's handy. We'll try again in a sec. Right, it's going, to, it's going to take us, according to the sat nav, two hours, 18 minutes. We might make up some time. We might also get caught in traffic. That is what we've done so far, seven and a half. So um, two minutes would be eight and a half. And then, yeah, so one, well, I can't count today, <laughs> our seven. Uh, so we've got one and a half hours, one hour, th we've got one hour 32 on a nine, two hours 32 on a 10. So we've got two hours 32 left, and we've got two hours 18 to the yard. So in theory, we could make it back to the yard as long as we don't get caught up in traffic. Oh, it goes without saying, we're now gonna try and make it back to the yard. Um, we will get caught in traffic at some point, but also we will make, it, make up some time as well. So it's just something we're gonna to have to keep an eye on and uh, we'll see if we can actually get to the yard. Wish me luck. Okay, we are back in the yard. Oh, Dave's coming over. Uh, time is 17.40, so we've not done too bad. Uh, and we got here on 9 hours 31 minutes, so uh, we've got another 29 minutes to play with if we really needed it, but we don't. Anyway, let's see what the, uh, the yard manager wants. Right, nope, we're all good. Uh, sometimes he asks us to move somewhere else, but nope, we're in the light place. Let's turn the ignition off, window up. So yeah, nine and a half hours driving, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we started, what time did we start this morning? Five o'clock, wasn't it? By the time we got to the yard, it was five o'clock and we finished at 5.45. So just under a 13 hour shift. So it's not been too bad. And 10 hours of that was just pretty much driving, pretty much. So it's been a day of driving today. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to get some rubbish out and uh, make my way to my car and go home. Okay, we are done for the day. We're walking back. Just uh, having a little chat with colleagues. So the time now is 10 past six, nearly. Not too shabby. Put the rubbish away. Lovely. So yeah, so by the time we uh, get out and whatnot, it'll be about quarter past six. We started about uh, five o'clock. So uh, yeah, 13 hours shift pretty much. Not too bad. And uh, nice, nice day's drive. Nice day's weather. Lovely beach. It's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Normal vlogs will resume shortly, but I quite like doing these on mobile phone. It's really good. Anyway, catch you later. Bye-bye.